What's going on? What's going on? Hey, it's your boy Skills. How y'all doing? All right, what's up? My name is Willie Jefferson Jr. I work at the Houston Chronicle. It is the biggest newspaper in Texas, one of the biggest in the United States. I do not work for Best Buy. I like the shirt. That's why I'm wearing it. Do you work for Best Buy? All right, so anyway, what do I do? I unbox items at companies, PR firms, developers, publishers, and like, send me for review. All right, if you were tuned in earlier, you saw that I got... Disney's Infinity video game in for review. It came Friday, so I just want to thank Disney once again for sending this. It's published, it is um, developed by Avalanche and published by Disney. So, this one came in the mail. Alright, so we haven't done this in a while, but check this out. One, two, three, score! Okay, so got a couple really, really good scores I want to tell y'all about. Alright, so first one is. I was able to get this right here, right? Defiance. Now I know a lot of y'all are saying, like, dude, man, game's been out. Well, I was at one of my local pawn shops. I really enjoy going there. And guess what? The game is not in here because I have it in my PS3. Alright, so anyway, I was asking the guy, how much you want for it? And he said a price. I'm like, dude, that's too high. And he said, alright, just for you, I'll do this price. My mouth hit the floor. I'm like, really? The game just came, you know, it, it's been out for a little while, but still, that's a really, really good price. So, guess how much I paid for Defiance, alright? Guess how much? No. Lower. No. Okay. How much did Mad Skills pay for Defiance? Boom! Boom! Ten bucks. That's right. So, I got Defiance for the PS3 for ten dollars, alright? So, I know y'all are like, man, dude, that's old, that's lame, but hey, you know what? It's new to me. I mean, I did get the the PC version, but my PC is just garbage. Alright, so anyway, so that's that's what I got for $10. I got that a couple days ago. I just haven't been able to make a score video, alright? So, okay. So, my next score, boom. So, we have the sidekick sets, alright, for Infinity. You have Syndrome, you have Randy, you have Davy Jones on the bad bad side. Then on the good side, you have Barbosa, Mike, and Mrs. Incredible. All right? So, you know how much these cost. These are both $29.96, pop $29.99, so 30 bucks. Guess how much I got these for each? If you cast $15, boom, you win. So, this is actually a really, really good score. I know that um, a lot of retailers have been discounting their initial Infinity stock. Now, what's really, really cool is at $15, you may think, eh, you know, it's that's okay. But, hey, this is actually really good considering that each of these characters will run you $12 a piece. So, for $3 more, you can get three of them. And there you go. And you're good to go. Plus, you have the cards with them. So, hey, so $14.99 for each one of these is really good. And actually, you could turn around and let's say, all right, so you spent $30 for this, okay, for both of these. You could actually turn around and sell each character for $10. You know what? You just doubled your money. So, there you go. All right, now my next one is the play sets. Okay, so I got couple of these right here. I got the Cars playset and then Lone Ranger. These are the only two that are available right now. Alright, so, and you remember when I went to E3 that I actually got, um, Disney gave me this playset along with Randy from Monster U for attending their unveiling, their coming out party. Alright, so, but once again, I saw this in Target. And they were $17.95 for each one of these. I already said it, dog. But I didn't pay that little. I wish I would have. That would have been awesome. But I did pay a little bit less. All right, these retail for $34.96. Guess how much I paid for them? I didn't pay half. I wish I would have. All right, $19.99. And Walmart has these, but I believe it's over with today. So $19.99 for each playset is really, really good. 
And my last score was actually one that I found. Hmm, I'm not gonna tell you about it. Well, yes, I am. This book right here. All right. This is the art of John Carter. Now, I know you like skills, dude. John Carter was horrible. All right. You're telling me this is a score? Yes, it is. So let me tell you, all right? So this book, Disney did publish it, all right? And of course, I'll let y'all see that out the cover. Without the slip cover, which is really, really, oh, that's hot. I didn't, didn't even realize this. All right, so this the actual right there. So John Carter of Mars, all right? And of course, there's the back of it, D23. Studio, so I'm just going to put this up. But anyway, this particular art book, all right? So Disney came out with the movie, it flopped. It did not make um, nearly the amount of money that they thought it was going to make. John Carter fans were a little bit upset, so they had stacks of these. You couldn't hit swing a dead cat without hitting this particular book right here, all right? So it's a beautiful art book, right? I'm actually going to let y'all see some of the pages, all right? But, beautiful art book. But here's where it started getting interesting, right? So these retailers had all these copies of the book. And, people started buying them. And, other people, diehard fans were like, Hey, you know, we're going to go ahead and, and we'll pick up a second... Um, printing of this book. But the problem is, Disney was like, wow, it flopped. We're not going to worry about a second printing on the book. So all of a sudden, all of these books out of print and very, very rare. All right? Did a little research. <clears throat> to buy this book that was selling maybe $25, $30. Now, if you want to get this book, it will cost you anywhere from $100 to $250. And guess what? It's going to continue to increase. So, guess how much I paid for this? I didn't steal it, fools. I got this book for free. One of my co-workers was cleaning out his desk, and he got several of these. He gets books like this all the time. He put it on the counter. I saw it, and I was like, okay, cool. Let me go ahead and, you know, let me go ahead and cop that. You know, I thought the movie was all right. I didn't think it was horrible. But all of a sudden, I started doing research, because I'm like, you know what? I want to buy a second copy of this. And I started looking at the prices out of print. I was like, oh, my Lord Jesus. Yeah, so I mean to get one that's in, because this is in mint condition. I mean, it is all the edges. I mean, I don't know if you can see it up close and everything. These edges, I mean, it's just beautiful, literally. I mean, it's it's pristine. So, this right here, y'all, this is the probably the biggest score that I've done in a while. But $200 book, art book, out of print, and I cop it for free. You telling me. All right. So anyway, it's your boy Skills. You know, you can find me. Hit me up on Twitter at m 4 dscat one z and also at Houston Gamer, all one word. Hit me on my Houston Gamer blog. All you got to do is Google Willie Jefferson Houston Video Games or Willie Jefferson Video Games. That's going to come up. Hit me on my Facebook page, and that's the real m 4 dscat one z All right, anyway, it's your boy Skills. Thank you all for watching Score with me. So, all right, anyway, talk to you all later. It's your boy Skills. Deuces.